Are you ready to look at something cool? Something that might even mystify you? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. In this video, we are going to be looking at the next generation from the company of the Arctic Air, and it's their Pocket Chill. So you know what? Let's get right into the review. I was at my local As Seen on TV retailer and I saw this item and I thought, well, doesn't that look interesting? The Arctic Air Pocket Chill. This was purchased for right around $20. Let's do a quick unboxing. Here is our Arctic Air Pocket Chill unbox. Now this is definitely bigger than I thought it would be. It's about the size of a large cell phone. It is a little thicker. I'll get you a measurement in a minute. We do have some directions. There's a 20% off your next purchase. I actually got two of those, so super bonus. And then of course, a USB-C charger. The directions tell us to use only the included USB-C cable to charge the pocket chill. And you know what? I labeled it just so I wouldn't forget which charger cable was for this one. I actually learned this from James White with Freakin' Reviews. He showed it in one of his videos and I thought, man, that is absolutely genius. So every cable I get from any product, I make sure to label it immediately. If we do a measurement, we see it's about three inches wide. The longest point is about six and three quarter inches. And of course it's about three quarters of an inch wide. When I first saw this, I thought this was one of those things you wear around your neck, but I guess this is more like something you use at your office for like a desk fan of sorts. Let's see if it has a charge um, from the factory. Let's hit the button once. Oh, look at that. It has lighting. That's kind of cool. All right, so we hit the button once. It's high speed. Hit the button again. It slows it down to medium speed. And then one more time. We're on low speed, and of course, the fourth time, it's off. I know we just saw this light lit up here that has an ambient lighting. There's a button here on the side. If you click that, you can actually change the lighting on there, so that's pretty cool. You can cycle through all the different lights, and if you don't like the light on at all, you can turn it off. I think it's cool that one of the color options is actually a gradient color of all the different colors that are here. I try to get the highest resolutions to show you this on video. There are some lines on the video, but in person you do not see those. That's just what the camera picks up. Right, here's where we put our water into it because it does have a cooling feature that way. We're gonna do that in a little while, but I wanna charge it up first. And also it has like a little kickstand right here so you can set it up on top of your desk and I guess it can blow right at you. The kickstand is not adjustable. It just really has this one setting. We already saw that it has some charge from the factory, so I will run it completely down and see how long it takes to charge. But as for right now, we're just gonna charge this up all the way and then test it out. I did see on the box, it says up to 12 hours of use. And my thought would be that's probably on the low setting. Arctic Air Pocket Chill is done charging when the little light on the side turns green. The Pocket Chill holds a little over an ounce of water. I'm gonna fill it up right to where there's this little rubber gasket right here. Close it down, snap it into place, and let's get ready to fire it up for the first time. Right in here are our air cooling jets. That's where I guess the water part is supposed to come out of or the mist. And the directions tell us when you first set this up, it needs to prime so it can take up to a minute before you start seeing anything. Let's push the power button. Well, mine worked right away, and I had not actually turned it on before just now, but I can see the mist coming out. I will say it is a powerful little fan. I'm gonna leave this on the high mode, and I can still see the mist coming out. I'm gonna see how long this fan will keep running on high. We're now at the 30 minute mark of this test, and I've noticed that the water reservoir looks about empty. I might see a little bit of mist still coming out, but if I move it around here or so, I notice that there's no more water. So you're going to get about 30 minutes before you have to refill it. I'm going to refill it now and continue the test. I've been using the Arctic Air Pocket Chill outside and you hear that noise? That's actually the Pocket Chill itself and I'll prove it to you. Let me shut it off. See that? There's no noise anymore. It is pretty loud. I'm gonna keep this off just so you can hear me, but let me share some of my experience using the Pocket Chill outside. No wind, full of water, using that mist. Yes, absolutely on high, I can feel it outside and it is really cooling. It just so happens that right now the wind is starting to pick up and even with this on, I can't feel it anymore. It's almost like the wind is just blowing away the cooling feature from the pocket chill. So just be careful of that. If you're gonna use it outside and it's a calm day, it's great. A little bit of wind, you do not get any cooling from it. First things, that noise that you hear is actually coming from the pocket chill, but inside in my office, which was climate controlled, I keep this around 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This is really, really cool. And I absolutely appreciate the cooling feature when I use 
the water inside. Otherwise, it's just like a fan. Two hours and 30 minutes in and the pocket chill goes dead. So I ran it on high for two and a half hours. I did have the light on and of course we filled up the water reservoir every time it ran. Now out. I'm going to charge it up to full again and then run it on low to see how long that lasts. We are fully charged and we are running on low speed. I did fill it up with water so we can see the mist coming out. What I'm gonna do is I'll fill it up a few times with water every 30 minutes or so, but I wanna see how long this will last us on low speed. I left this sitting on my desk for like 10 minutes and I came back and this is how I found it. When I looked, uh, oop, I clicked the color. When I looked upside down, look what I see. This actually broke. The little tab broke off of the Arctic Air Pocket Gel, so now I can no longer use the kickstand. In order to finish the review, I'm going to be using my Lamacol cell phone and tablet stand. I will reach out to the company to see if they will replace this piece, but to be honest with you, I doubt I will hear back from them. All right, so here's an update. This ran on low for 10 hours. I did fill it up for the first three times, so the first hour and a half after it ran out for 30 minutes or so, or the mist ran out. So I filled it up for the first hour and a half and it ran for a total of 10 hours. So that's pretty impressive. My thought is it runs a lot better when it does not have the water in there to push out the mist. Also, you'll save power if you do not run the LED lights. In this video, we are looking at the Arctic Air Pocket Chill. So what did I think about? Well, first things first, it fell right within that $20 price point for the majority of as seen on TV items. I love it when products do that. Now, how did the product work? Well, for me, I got the best cooling feature when it was on high and if it was on battery operated, I only got two and a half hours out of it, of that cooling feature. And every 30 minutes I had to fill it up with water just to get that cooling mist. I should say so you can keep it going continuously on high while it's plugged in, but you still have to fill it up every 30 minutes to make sure there's enough water in there to keep the mist function working. I did like all the colors that the pocket chill could cycle through, but you know what? At night, I found that they were really too bright. And so if you're trying to sleep with those lights on, you just can't because they're really bright. So I ended up turning them off at night. I would have liked additional adjustability with the actual kickstand because you only got one angle, but sometimes people's desks might be higher. They might want it at a different level or a different height. So you want to have that thing adjust a different position. So in my opinion, having different adjustability features on that kickstand would have been awesome. I was a little disappointed that the kickstand on the back of my pocket chill broke. Well, really just on its own. I was glad to have my cell phone stand, but that worries me that that little part broke because that's very important to this product. I also worry that that reservoir where the water is being held in will leak over time. Yeah, it does have a silicone gasket around it right now, but what happens when that wears out? Will this start to leak? I think it would have been better if they had this thing maybe towards the bottom where when you fill it up, it does not spill over, but that worries me as well. In the end, it does provide cooling either inside or outside with absolutely no wind, but I had to run it on high and made sure it was full of water in order to get that cooling feature. And as you saw, once the wind picked up outside, there was no cooling from the pocket chill. That was my full review of the Arctic Air Pocket Chill. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. We're gonna demonstrate the fan speed by blowing bubbles. We are on low first. Let's see if we can get any bubbles going off of here. Nothing, let's move it up to medium. Did a little better on medium. Now let's try it on high. Oh yeah, it did the absolute best on high speed. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Arctic Air Pocket Chill. You know what? I've reviewed a lot of the Arctic Air products. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link an entire playlist right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.